Hi and welcome to my next video. My homemade shea butter hair cream is amazing if you have damage to your hair. Maybe you want to grow your hair, help with dermatitis on your scalp. Scalp problems like dandruff and flaking, I feel like this might be able to cure some of those problems. However, if you are allergic to nuts, any kind of tree nuts, please do not use this since it contains shea butter and some nut oils. This is amazing for hair growth. It's wonderful for your ends and I would highly recommend this shea butter cream. If you're trying to grow out your hair or you need to repair some damage, maybe damage from heat or bleaching and coloring, things like that. So the first and main ingredient is shea butter. According to livestrong.com, shea butter is a rich source of vitamins, moisture, and rich fatty acids. It's a thick yellowish or ivory color and it liquefies at body temperature similar to coconut oil. It has naturally anti-inflammatory properties. It's also very nourishing for the scalp and the hair, especially any damaged ends can improve hair growth and it can help with bald spots. I would recommend using unrefined shea butter since that is the kind that will have the most benefits to your hair and the most nourishing properties like vitamins, fatty acids. Shea butter is a rich source of vitamin A and vitamin E, both very important for hair growth. Shea butter can be applied if you mix it with oils onto the hair. I do not recommend using shea butter alone on your hair since it will be very, very difficult to wash out. If you're allergic to tree nuts, please do not use shea butter. Shea butter can help with a dry, itchy scalp and dandruff, and since it helps to stop dandruff and dry, itchy scalp, it promotes hair growth. A healthy scalp is essential for hair growth, and because shea butter is preventing dandruff and a dry, itchy scalp, it helps to improve hair growth. It does have to be mixed with oils. Shea butter is a thick fatty oil and it's taken from the African shea tree nuts. The next ingredient in my shea butter hair cream is macadamia nut oil. According to examiner.com, macadamia nut oil is a highly nutritious containing calcium, vitamin B complex, which is extremely important for growing your hair and keeping healthy hair, vitamin E, proteins, phosphorus, iron, and is extremely high in monounsaturated fatty acids. This oil is a very light oil. It will absorb into the hair shaft very easily. The highly concentrated monounsaturated fatty acids protect the hair shaft from damage. Macadamia oil can also penetrate the hair shaft and prevent dermatitis and flaking on the scalp. The vitamin E in macadamia oil helps to soften and add bounce and life back to your hair. The proteins in macadamia oil also help to strengthen the hair shaft. I would recommend macadamia oil if you're not allergic to nuts, since this oil is highly beneficial for the hair and is really great for frizz as well. The high vitamin E content in this oil is great for frizz. It also can help to keep hair soft, shiny, and manageable. Macadamia oil also adds tons of shine to your hair. The next ingredient is jojoba oil. According to hairbuddha.net, jojoba oil has been used for hundreds of years, including by the Native Americans as a hair restorer and conditioner. Modern research has also shown that jojoba oil is highly anti-inflammatory. Plus, it has antibacterial properties which can highly benefit the scalp. Jojoba oil is actually not an oil, it's really a liquid wax. Jojoba oil is very similar in molecular structure to the sebum that your skin makes and the sebum that comes out of your scalp to moisturize the hair. Jojoba oil can penetrate the hair follicles, leading to healthier hair with shine and luster and less damage. If you don't have jojoba oil or macadamia oil, you can replace both ingredients with almond oil. Almond oil is very similar to macadamia oil and jojoba oil since it's very high in vitamin E and it can repair damage for your hair. I would highly recommend this oil, again, if you're not allergic to any nuts. My last ingredient is rosemary essential oil. Rosemary essential oil is high in antioxidants, it's anti-inflammatory, plus antibacterial and antifungal, so rosemary essential oil is highly beneficial for the scalp, plus it can add shine to the hair. Rosemary oil has been used for centuries, going all the way back to the ancient Egyptians. The antiseptic properties in rosemary essential oil can help to prevent dandruff and flaking. Preventing these scalp issues is very important to growing your hair healthy and maximizing hair growth potential. 
Rosemary essential oil can also add shine to the hair and whenever I make a DIY hair oil or hair cream, I like to add just a few drops of rosemary essential oil. It also adds a very soothing and therapeutic scent to the cream. I would highly recommend using my Shea Butter Hair Cream on damp hair. I get it into my ends and then work my way up to my scalp. Now I'm just doing a lazy wrap bun and holding it in with my oiling stick. Now all I have to do is wait. Usually I go online and see what my favorite people are up to. I let this sit for as long as I need it that day. Maybe just a couple hours. Thank you for watching. I hope that you could enjoy this video and if you did, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And if you have subscribed, thank you so much for supporting my channel. I love you guys. You guys are amazing. So let me know in the comments or by giving this video a thumbs up if you would like to see more hair videos on my channel, DIY hair videos, or just videos talking about how to grow your hair, any kind of hair videos you'd like to see. Let me know by giving this video a thumbs up or letting me know in the comments exactly what you'd like to see on a future video on my channel. Click on any one of these videos to watch another hair video from my channel. I love you guys and I hope I see you again next Sunday.